So is there music, Daniel, or? Yeah. Thank you. And so we begin as we synchronize to this rhythm. Synchronize our breath. We begin to feel the energetic pulse <clears throat> of spirit. We know that we are engaging in this visioning session today and creating a field. Creating a field of this beloved community that is all loving. So just imagine this space where love is. And there's acceptance in the space. There's appreciation. There's peace. And so let's take a holy breath as we continue to enter into this space that we are creating together and so we, we move our focus and our energy out of the head down into the heart And then we begin to breathe as though we can breathe through this beautiful heart. And we focus on the heart. We focus and breathe and radiate the feeling of appreciation, of love. of compassion. Of care. And so as we continue to focus on the heart, we know that this is the portal to the divine. This is where infinite intelligence rests this is the center place of the body that aligns with the divine there's this beautiful place of this beautiful cross this intersection that's right at the heart level. And there is a, a vertical awareness of the divine presence in all of it coming through the body. Opening up the crown chakra to receive this divine energy. grounding into the earth through the root chakra. Staying open and receptive. And 
feeling this divine energy through the crown chakra, down into the root chakra, into the earth. Grounding us in this time and space. into this energy vortex of love, beauty, tranquility, and love. And so being grounded in divine energy, we also know that there's a horizontal awareness of our connection to this world. And this is our beautiful balanced cross where the intersection is the heart, the Christ nature. Where we receive these divine impulses through the body chakras and bring this out into the world. So continue to breathe and radiate love. Radiate appreciation. And sitting in this space of engaging our deep listening There's a reverent alertness within you right now. So even though we're grounded and relaxed, we're present and alert. And the body is becoming receptive to receive the messages of spirit. Sometimes they come in words. Sometimes they come in images. Sometimes they come in thoughts. Or just a presence, just a knowing. Trust your divine delivery system. To support you. Into this deep listening. So there'll be five questions. Please number your paper or your cards, one through five. And staying connected into this energy, we begin to ask the question. Number one. What is God's idea of itself as me in Unity of Bellevue? What is God's idea of itself as me in Unity of Bellevue? And what is seeking to emerge through this ministry? And what is our purpose as a ministry? This is all one 
idea. Number one. What is God's idea of itself as me in unity of Bellevue? What is seeking to emerge through this ministry? What is our purpose as a ministry? And let's sit in the quiet. And whenever you're ready, you can write what you're receiving on your card or your paper. This is number one. And so as we continue to listen and we deepen, we give thanks for any direction we might have received. And know that this process may continue for several days in us. The second question, what must I become where must I grow? What qualities do I need to embody in order for God's vision to be made known? What must I become? Where must I grow? qualities do I need to embody in order for God's vision to be made known?
You turn the music down just a little. So question three. What do I need to let go of in order for God's vision to be made manifest? What do I need to let go of in order for God's vision to be made manifest? Yes. What do I need to let go of in order for God's vision to be made manifest? Two. Two was what must I become? What do I need to embody in order for God's vision to be made manifest? Number one, um, I can read the questions from one. Is that what you're asking? Uh, yes, it's just the last one of one. The last one of one. What is our purpose as a ministry? There was three questions in number one. Number one was, what is God's idea of itself as me through this ministry? What is seeking to emerge through this ministry? What is our purpose as a ministry? And right now we're working on three. What do I need to let go of? Number four. What gifts do I have to share with the world? What gifts do I have to share with the world?
And question five. What qualities am I looking for in our next spiritual leader? What qualities am I looking for in our next spiritual leader? So let us take a breath and give thanks for these ideas, these revelations. And so this vision that is seeking to emerge through you is, is not in your future. It's a vision that's already happening in the mind of you and God and your community. The mind of love, intelligence, order, beauty. 
is already there. So this vision is happening in some dimension, occupying the same space that we are right now. We're not straining for some future experience. We're blessed and grateful here. Pray knowing you have already received. And so we give gratitude for what was received today. And deep appreciation for each one and this ministry. Our gratitude, our thanksgiving, our willingness has created an energetic message for this vision to now emerge with grace and dignity and ease. It's already done in the mind of God. There's no efforting on our part. There's an allowing. There's a calling forth And so we thank you, Spirit, for divine right action, for implanting these thoughts, ideas, and qualities. We trust and know that they have been given to each one as a divine idea. We are blessed and grateful and eager to share these newfound experiences. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful work, everybody. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, everybody online as well. So the first question that we raised was sort of a big one. Yeah? Like... Did you sort of say to your mind, well, how many pieces of paper do you have? <laughs> so it's sort of meant to be that, like bigger than we can really answer. So that's how visions are. They're bigger than really what we're capable of. That way we can grow into them. But these, if you'd like to keep them yourself, you can, or you could you know, pass them to uh, me or Jean or Sharon or anyone on the board here, because we're very interested in what that might sound like. And so, um, so Lori, would you be willing to be our scribe? Okay, so we'll just take a few thoughts on question one. So just write a big one at the top of that page. Oh. Lori, there's some pens right in that orange bucket that are really big. Yeah, because we need them sort of a thick and dark. Thank you. Thank you, Vic. Appreciate it. So he's got his cards perfectly numbered. Thank you. <laughs> so helpful. All right. Does anybody have anything they want on this board? You could just hand us your card as well, and then we could try to decipher it. But anything come through that you'd love to put up on the board? Takes a while to begin to come out of that state and then speak. <laughs> Can you ask the question. Ask the question? Yeah. Yes. What is God's idea of itself as me in Unity of Bellevue? What is seeking to emerge through this community? And what is the purpose as a ministry? What is our purpose? That probably makes your answer sound more re reasonable, right? Yeah. 
Anything come through? Any, anybody wants to share? Yes. Would you, would you mind speaking into this? Sorry, thank you. That's going to help our online people. I, I feel like for me, with over the last decade at least, is, uh, is what really is seeking to emerge right now is just something really simple would be stability. It's really like we really need some stability, you know, within our ministry and then to be able to build off of that later sort of a little bit of a, a stepping stone. Beautiful. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes. Does anybody want to be the runner for this thing? Sharon, will you? Great. Is that a uh, beacon of radiance and compassion? Beacon of radiant and compassion. Radiance and compassion. That's what I see us wanting to become. Lovely. Who else? Is there anybody online? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So for me, it's um, God's love expressing through and as me within this ministry. For me personally. Mm. Nice. It sounds so easy. <laughs> it's not. I think for me, um, this was started out with kind of kindness growing outward. Mm. That's what's looking to emerge. And um, which led me to the thought in my head of wholeness, which led me to we are seeking to emerge our authenticity. So who we are uniquely as Unity of Bellevue. Beautiful. Lori, do you, don't, don't move the mic just yet because she might need some help. <laughs> Could you repeat the second one? Uh, the second one. The second one. Um, so kindness growing outward, which uh, for me and my visioning became wholeness rippling wholeness and uh, seeking to emerge our individualism, our own authenticity, unity of Bellevue's authenticity. Did you get it, Lori? You got it, Lori? I'm, that works. Yeah, visioning is never a. It's never clear. An A to Z sentence. Yeah, it's not a full <laughs> grammatical expression. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. I had a lot of words, but um, the one thing that came up was a place of community within our greater community. So within ourselves here, but also expressing throughout in lots of ways. Beautiful. Thank you. There's one in the back. And what I saw is a thriving family church. A thriving family church. Yes. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of children. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so number two. Number two was, what must I become? What must I grow? Where must I grow? What qualities do I need to embody in order for God's vision to be made known? So it's, it's helpful if you can get it down to one or two words, okay? So that... So this is the next page. If you'll just rip that page off, we're going to do a whole new page, number two. And uh, I'll go put that. If you hand that to me, I'll put it on the side wall. Thank you. And if you're ready, go ahead and tell, tell Lori what your word 
Yes. Vibe attracts tribe. I must become the person I want to attract. Vibe attracts tribe. A higher vibration. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. Open and receptive. Open and receptive. Thank you. Welcoming. Welcoming. Joyfulness. Joyfulness. Able to give and to receive. Give and receive. Be a way shower. A way shower. Great. So it'd be really great if everybody had a word up there. I must embody love, compassion, and peace, so just pick one of them. Love, compassion, and peace. Empowered to serve. Thank you. this word, it was the first time I ever put, I put disciplined and then I had disciple. And it was ah. the first time I made the connection. Disciple. Nice. Very good. Disciple. Which is a real true follower, isn't it? Yeah. Not of the minister. No. <laughs> but of the teachings. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. What qualities I need to um, embody to me was for to to be in the know, just to be. To be? Yeah, just just to be, which for me means um, no preconceived <laughs> path and um, feelings of wholeness and again acceptance. What Rita said. Okay, so to be, wholeness, and acceptance was the third one? Yeah. I had creativity to address change. And then I put down, I am here. Would, you, would presence be okay? To be present? To be present, but it's kind of like, like I'm here. I am here. Not going anywhere. Okay. You know what I mean? I am here. I'm mm -hmm. not giving ideas that are, mm -hmm. you know, here and there, but it's like I'm set. I am here. I'm set. Solidly. Okay, great. I'm trying to figure out the unity way of saying this for myself when it says I must become, I want to say less judgmental but maybe it'd be more easygoing. Yeah, or open-minded. You like easygoing? I think, I think easygoing is good okay. for me. Okay, easygoing. Thank you. Do we have any online? Did you say hello? Is anybody there? Yes. <laughs> anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Did you go to sleep? <laughs> uh, they're not interacting then? No. It is working because I'm texting with Daniel and Sabrina. So it's working. Chad is working with Daniel and Sabrina. So. 
Okay. Can you test somebody? Say, could somebody say anything? Did they? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Joy says yes, say anything. <laughs> so anything for number two, people online, we'd love to have your words. This is a collaboration. So part of what we need to become as a community, right, and we do this individually, before we could really attract the right one is we need to embody some qu new qualities. And then number two is, uh, what do I need to let go of? But I don't know that we're done with, are we done with two? No. 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 Uh, I, I need to be engaged. Oh, that's a good one. Good word, engaged. A willingness to learn and grow and share. Yeah. Willingness to grow and learn and share. You could start a new page, Lori, if you like. And maybe we'll get them all on here. I don't know. Paul had his hand up. No? Okay. Oh, no, it was, it was Ken. Sorry. Yeah. I need to be more committed. Committed. Beautiful. Committed. Courageous. Courageous. Yeah. That's your word, too? It was already there. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, put another check mark by it. It does take courage, doesn't it? It takes courage to go through transitions, through changes. Yeah. When, we, when there's unknown, uncertainty, we become oh, a little uncomfortable, and sometimes we, we wander. So I love this engaged, committed, stay present. Yeah. Our joy online has uh, become playful child of God. Playful, great. Playful, child of God. Playful. Playful. Anybody else? Number two. Oh, I've got Vicks here. Compassionate listening. And empathic. He has empathy, but empathic. And then the third one is, I must be in the background. I'm not sure what what that means. Must be in the background. I'd I'd like to add. Mm -hmm. Leadership, open to the call of leadership, stepping into leadership, courageous leadership. Good. Okay, we got some on this side. She's going to get her exercise. Accessibility and responsiveness. Accessibility and responsiveness. Accessibility. ACC? ACC. Yeah. Accessibility. I'm available. And what was the second one? Responsiveness. Responsibility. Responsiveness. Responsiveness. I'm so, yeah. Responsive. Yeah. Responsive. Very good. Uh, 
I might have to have you transcribe this again for me, Lori. <laughs> Because we are going to type these up, and they're going to go on our website. So we're going to remind ourselves what we decided about today, what we need to embody in order for God's vision to be made manifest, and what we need to let go of. So we ready to go to number three? OK, what do we need to let go of? Thank you. Are you tired? Do you need someone else to do this? You're good? Okay. There's a, a cushy chair right there. Number three, there we go. What do we need to let go of? We've got somebody with the mic and then we'll pass it along, yeah. Sadness, anger, uh, a judgment, sadness and anger about what has been done in the past. So can I, before you write, so we can let go of the past, and we, then we can let go of sadness. So those are two different things. Can we write them as two different things? OK, so we're going to let go of the past, and we're going to let go of sadness. And anger. And anger. Thank you. Sadness, anger. So those are all three different things. Let go of the past, sadness, and anger. And judgment. And judgment. Four things. You only get three, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Perfection. Perfection. Mm hmm. Gwen? Oh, oh ac actually, I wrote. Let go of judgment of others. So I think that ties in with Rita. Okay. <clears throat> Belief in lack. Great. Letting go of lack consciousness. Yeah, for me is how it used to be during my favorite ministers. Yes. <laughs> Letting go of how it used to be. You all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> no names, please. Yeah, you've had a variety of ministers and leaders, and you know those always come to mind. And, and this fits right into it. Preconceived ideas. Yeah, preconceived ideas. Or how it should be. Yeah. Vic says, I need to let go of control. Uh, let go of disappointments. And disappointment. Okay, what else? Control? Yeah, we, we were going too fast for you, weren't we? Anything else? Anything online? Nothing online. Go slow. Go slow. Yeah. Letting go of going slow? Hmm. Or you want to go slow? Which one? Yeah. Go, slow. Yeah. go slow. Go slow. So, um, so what would that be letting go of? Urgency? Or the expectation of speed was what I was thinking. I think. Uh huh. Yeah. Let him go of impatience. Would that be it? Yeah. Impatience and urgency. Yeah. Impatience and urgency. Uh, Joy said, letting go of fear of differences 
of differing opinions, knowing we can learn from each other. Great. Fear of, di sorry, fear of differences, of differing opinions. She means we, but is this for personal or we? She says we for us to leave. Like yeah, it's supposed to be personal, like I need to let go of this, yeah. I think some of this is in what's already been said, but I'm not sure. It's okay. Uh, let go of fear that past experiences that divided the community will return. And ways of hearing all are not investigated to move forward healthfully. I feel like with, with you being here, it's good. So I heard letting go of the past. Right. Is that the first thing? Right, the past, but fear, fear of the di division of the community happening again. Okay, fear of the division of the community. Okay. Yeah, fear of... And the, basically the fear that uh, there are uh, ways of hearing everyone are not investigated to move forward healthfully, which we're doing now, but once there's a new minister having something in place like what you're doing. Are you talking about healthy communication? I, I, I'm yes. sorry. Okay. <laughs> so we're letting go of um, the fear of we'll revert back to separation. Did you get that? Fear of division of the community, that's right. Yeah. And, and fear of um, lack of communication. Unhealthy communication. Right? Unhealthy communication. No more screaming and yelling. That was a joke, I'm sorry. It's supposed to be. It's not totally a joke. It's not that funny. Right? There's somebody in the back. Oh, well, Susan's uh, got the, the mic. Fear of, I mean, I need to let go of being right. Being right. Yes. Letting go of expectations. Letting go of expectations. Letting go of the negative affirmations that sneak into my thoughts. Letting go of the negative ideas that sneak into my thoughts? Oh, that, yeah, the negative ideas that become affirmations for me. And okay. There's a whole slew of them. So. <laughs> Letting go of negativity. Would that be good? Or uh, you want more? No, it's, it's more really the way. For me, it's more the way I language stuff to myself. So can you do it in three words? Just so we can get uh, three or four words? Negative self-talk. Who said that? Yeah, there you go. There it is. Negative self-talk. Negative self-talk about things. Great. Not necessarily about myself, but about things. Nothing new up there, but I'm going to multi-vote and pass for a check mark on preconceived ideas, control, and expectations. So I'm wondering, I see number two, if you would like to add something there that I'm gonna suggest, trust. Does anybody wanna add that one? <laughs> okay. We have faithful on there, which is wonderful. There's also this beautiful idea Known as trust. Anything else on number three? What do I need to let go of?
Okay. So number four is uh, your gift. So you get to keep that one. That's a gift from spirit to you. And whether you engage in those gifts in the world is, is completely up to you. Okay, now number five. This is sort of the, the active one and fun one. And these are the qualities of the next minister. Now, this one, we've got to have the words bigger and spacious because we're going to vote on them. Yeah. Oh, spirit's alive there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so number five is what qualities do I want to see in our next minister? So these should be one or two words, you know, or a, a three at the most. Just so work on getting, you, you know, consolidating your word, okay? Okay. So we're going to make these... As big as the word quality you have right there. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Grounded in unity principles. I couldn't make that shorter. Okay. And mine was that was unity ordained. I couldn't hear you. No. <laughs> it's Integrity. Different. What is it? Integrity. Integrity. Okay, everybody, you get three. Okay. That's the max. A sense of humor. <laughs> Integrity and sense of humor. And if you have the same words, we want you to say that, and we'll put a check mark by it. Okay? Inspiration and vibrancy in... Ins the unity principle. Inspirational? Inspirational and vibrant in the way to convey. Okay. Inspirational and vibrant. Have a love of children. Love children. Okay, we're not, we're not, it, don't go anymore. We still got to get love of children. Beautiful writing. Wow, wow, wow. She must be a teacher. Compassionate. Look at my three. Communicator. And a check mark by humor. What was the last one? Check mark off humor. Humor, sense of hu good sense of humor. Yeah. Okay, very good. A joy has transparent and empathic empathy. Transparent. Transparent. Yeah. Authentic. But we've got transparent. I'm going to take my shoes off. Does anybody care? Nobody cares. Yeah. My feet hurt. A strong love of music. She's, she's still writing that one, so let's give her a second. Dynamic. I had vibrant, energetic, and altruistic. Vibrant, energetic. I think that's new. Energetic. And what was the third? Altruistic. Altruistic. Inclusive. Just a second. We're still. Uh, 
That's so cute. Yeah, it's taken a little while to download. <laughs> okay. Inclusive. Inclusive. Mm -hmm. Of different genders. And, and then I want to second the grounded and unity principles. Okay. And the love of music. Grounded and unity principle at the very top. And what was the third one? Love of music. Sarah, did you have something? Sarah, I'm going to bring that The inclusive was the. Um, Just inclusive all by itself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I had vitality, but it could be vibrant. Do we have vibrant? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And. Insightful. That's new. Insightful. And loves music. Is she ready for me? Yes. Okay, I have openness. Earth care and community minded. Thank you. You can put check marks next to vibrant, inspirational, and I also had um, written warrior spirit. What kind of spirit? A warrior, warrior, a warrior. spirit, spirit. Like dedicated. a spiritual warrior? Yes. Would that work for you, spiritual warrior? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do we need a, another piece of paper? Yeah. I do. And just if you just flip that over without taking it off, that'll work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to take it off. Just flip it over the top. Yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm going to fix it, okay. and I have something in mind, so. OK, who's next? You ready, Lori? Shares real life experiences. Ties. T I T H E S. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So I had skilled in people management or operationally skilled. Interpersonal skills? Uh, Don't like that one. Mm -hmm. More operational technical skills, so however you want to put that. Oh, so there's administration skills and interpersonal skills. I would say administration skills. Okay. And then partners rather than dictates. Partners. And then I had a whole bunch of check marks by other ones that had come before me. So, so you get three. So you have two on there. You have one. Want to do um, grounded in unity principles would be the biggest one. Great. The others for me. <laughs> I'm not sure how to do that. Okay. Honesty. 
Honesty, ooh, yeah. Self-aware. God. Authentic, is that on there somewhere? Was it on? It's not on there, authentic. Okay. There's something else like that, but it's not authentic. Okay. And vulnerable. Vulnerable. Sense of humor. Okay. Check mark on sense of humor. Very good. Fifty something. <laughs> Illegal procedure. Youthful. We'll allow youthful. Yeah. Whoops. It's already up there, but integrity. And, and then one that I don't think is yet, but just uh, someone that's very personable. And then um, uh, that uh, brings, uh, I don't know how to put this into three words, but uh, <laughs> that brings in other traditional, spiritual, traditional teachings besides just unity. Yeah, uh, faith uh, traditions, inclusive faith traditions. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Personable did come up. Uh, you did say that. Which is that like likable? Uh, that just interacts, but like to engage with people. Okay. Like, uh, split after the service, or you know, that, that socializes. Uh, that you feel like you can make a connection with, you know, just one on one. Mm -hmm. Great. Approachable. Approachable. Those I'm are all sort of different. Three, but I'm going to say one more. <laughs> um, and I don't know how to say this in three words, but connected to Unity Worldwide Ministries somehow that are better connected than we've had in the past. Let me say it that way. <laughs> so connected to UWM. I have. Or supports UWM. I have a Carol online. Great. And she put two words, curious and listener. Great. Curious and listener. It has to be a little bigger than that, Lori. Yeah, sorry. Just put U UWM if you, yeah, connected to UWM. UWM. Unity Worldwide Ministries, UWM. There you go. Well, after, uh, before listener, what is the... listener was... Um, it's just curious. Curious, curious. yeah. Curious. And I have Vix. Oh, there's somebody in the back. Jim's in the back. I have approachable uh, listening another vote, and um, I don't know how to put this in one word, stays around after the Sunday service is over. Social, would that be social? Sure. Okay, I think that's social. Social. Yeah. Yeah, those introverted people tell you. Let's go right to their office. 
I'm not one of them, so I can make fun of them. Yeah. I am. I am. Yeah. My husband was too. He always got in trouble for that. <laughs> Sociable? Do you have that already? Thank you. Personable, socializes, approachable. Perfect. Okay, so the, uh, energetic teacher. Energetic teacher. You have energetic, but this is a teacher. This is about teaching. Yeah. And um, uh, focus on youth education. So not the youthful spirit. It would be more about youth and family. Youth ed, just put youth ed, yeah. One, two, okay, so he's got four. And ordained. Do we have an ordained unity minister? Is that on there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't need that one then. Uh, so he's got energy to grow the congregation. So we have energetic. Sort of a, it's actually a byproduct yeah. mm -hmm. instead of that's what we want you to do. Right. It's a byproduct of creating community. Exactly. So, Walks on water. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so we could put it up there, but it won't get very many votes, right? <laughs> Anyway, uh, energy to grow the congregation. Vic. Did we get all the online people? Okay. Okay, so I think that's... Oh, wait, Gwen, sorry. I don't think this one was mentioned, but loves to serve. I know that someone mentioned operational skills. I think that goes along with business skills. And just as a note... Um, not, not necessarily quality, but appreciates the beauty of the Pacific Northwest and months of rain and clouds. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Uh, loves the PW, PNW, because that's, that's culture. They have to understand we love foggy, cloudy, Rainy. Well, leave us Don't leave us in two months. That's right. <laughs> Don't come here expecting California weather, please. No, that's really good. That, that, yeah. So we, we're, we're, we've got a lot of things, and you know you're not going to get every one of them. Maybe you will. No, you can't. I have one I want to add. If, if you will allow me, interpersonal skills. That's the one that eats the lunch of most ministers, the burnout. Just dealing with the people. They, I have heard a lot of ministers say, I love ministry. It's the people I can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> so interpersonal skills is a big deal. Yeah, that goes with social interaction, empathic, but it's it's a real skill. So communicator, is that kind of in the same ballpark or more than that? No, interpersonal skills is is all of that, but it's also how to get along with people. I had written down pastoral care too. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I don't know how that fits in, but sometimes that was pastoral. Put, he's very like she put is, out to someone else to go and you know if somebody's ill or in the hospital or just that type of care. So if that's included in there that that I don't yeah. know where. So pastoral. I already had three though. Oh. Can't have it. 
Jean took four too. So I know I'm going to give five too. <laughs> I I just have I, I don't know how to. There's no lack. In <laughs> I don't know how to quite say this, but the word spiritually mature is one that I want to add to the list, but it it encompasses about eight things on my list <laughs> that were observations from the past, and so I don't. I don't know if you want to add that or just say that a lot of these represent that. Spiritually mature? Our spiritual wisdom, you know, I mean. I like spiritually mature. Emotional and spiritual maturity is right up here. This is what I teach when I come. And if you don't have those things, really hard. They don't necessarily teach that 100%. Yeah. Uh, Sabrina has added inclusive, uh, LB, LGBTQ inclusive. So it's down your inclusive, but specifically L LGBTQ. I'd like to add uh, has vision. Vision. Great. Just find a space because I think we're winding down. Okay, so are we good? I think we've got more than we need. But do we have the dots? Okay. So, um, Lori, did you get spiritual maturity on your list? Or spiritual slash emotional maturity? Spiritual slash emotional maturity. Very important. <laughs> okay, so in a minute you're going to get five dots, and you're going to get to go up there and put five dots oh, is all you get, five. And that will give us, uh, we'll have a range of most important to the least important. Every one of them will be on the list, so nothing gets erased, but we're going to sort of order it so that we could, when we're filling out our pamphlet, we know this is most important to us. Yeah? What is the procedure, like who interviews, who, who's, oh, okay. and all that? Yeah, the interview, the, the search team is getting put together, and they're going to be uh, given the task of finding the th maybe three best candidates for this ministry. And so they'll do the initial interview. Once those three candidates are identified, they'll give those over to the board. Then the board will interview them and will be invited or not invited to come. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So the board decides out of the interview that yeah. the committee does, right? Yes, the committee is instructed and created through the board to go find three qualified candidates. So they do that, and they give those to the board, and then the board interviews them and invites the candidates that they want to come, uh, probably the three that are suggested, and then the board will make the decision. The congregation will be here to uh, evaluate those candidates. And so you'll fill out evaluation forms about how you feel about that person. So that's your input as a congregant. And then the board takes those in and makes uh, that, that as an input into their choice. OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. OK, so we're going to get that. So I think the easiest way to do this, I don't really think there is an easy way, but maybe to put it over here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I got a bunch of nodding heads. Thank you. Yes, five dots. And I'll help you.
And as soon as you're ready, just put them real close to the, the words so we can tell very clearly. Everybody got some? Okay. Again, all the words will stay on that list. So for people who are online, how should they vote? Because they can't see you. Yeah. And we don't have... Okay, good. That's a good thing. So I wonder if we could take a picture of it. Is there a way to do that? I know who's on. Okay. Way. I can do that. I can take a picture of it and then send it to them. Okay, thank you. Okay. So Monica's going to uh, barge in and take a picture of that. Oh, can you do it from your iPad? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna tell them what I'm doing, and then I'm gonna go get my. Okay. Well, they do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Lori. You did all the work. <laughs> yeah. Did you get your words up there too? Good. Did you get your dots? Perfect. And anybody that wants to give me your number one card, be happy to take that. Can you use all your stars on one topic? <laughs> There's always a cheater. <laughs> I'm waiting till last. And we will keep this open through August 28th for anyone who couldn't be here. I have the questions and I can easily email those to you and you could email me back your answers. So if you know someone who couldn't be here today and they don't, they don't want to be left out, then uh, let them know that. Contact the office. Monica and I will get those to you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, appreciate it. And uh, if anybody can help Jim put the tables back and the chairs back, that would be awesome. Those, you mean outside? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do a closing prayer, but if you need to go, you're welcome to go. I sort of want to see how it's going to come out here. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. oh, is he? Okay. He's got to vote first.
So is that one? Is that one for spiritual and emotional? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Cheater butt, cheater butt. Now, when I used to do this as a facilitator, I would say, no talking, no touching, because people would like to elbow other people. <laughs> Becky? Becky? Is it Rebecca? Becky. I mean, there's Becky Thatcher, but she doesn't normally come to these. Becky who? I don't know. Do I have to say last name? No. -uh. Becky, Becky, can you identify yourself on if you're on, you're she's online? Not there anymore. Yeah, she's oh. gone. Oh, she's gone. Oh, I'll email her separately. Okay. In case it is. Okay. People who are online got it. They got it? Yeah, who stayed through that question. Yeah. Some people fell off at different times. Okay. Times, so um, I'll email it to them separately with instructions. Okay. Okay, I think I need a meditation on this last dot. It's like words ago. Good. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. And and music. And very insightful. Good. Insightful. Mm -hmm. insightful. Good, good, good. Yeah, it's, and it's fun to do that as a community. Yeah. To sort of hear what everyone else is thinking. and Yeah. The music was okay. Background music. It was. It was okay, perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Denise, with all your experience of yeah. the yeah. Is there anything that you didn't see here that you had seen at others? Well, I added to uh, what, uh, what we need to let go of, what we need to embody, and one quality. So I added one thing on each page that I could sort of follow through and go, this would be really good that I don't see. And it's easy to miss things, but the only things I added were sort of important. Yeah. Trust. <laughs> It's, right. it's underlined and it yeah. kind of goes yeah. unspoken. But it, it does, it's but it's like yeah. yeah. It seems like some of these are sort of the same thing, like, like they like are energetic yeah. and vibrant. Yeah, yeah. they're those, very like, similar. Be, like, combined, I think so. The same, yeah, like the yeah. ones that are like okay, this is really the same. Again, we're not. We we didn't. Sometimes what we do is we put them in the other ones. Uh -huh. That takes a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So I've learned. Yeah. Just put them all up there. Nobody words get destroyed. And then we just decide which are the most important. Yeah. Yeah. It almost feels like anything with two dots or more. Yeah, we're going to put it all on there, on the list. And it'll, you know, at the top will be all those big ones. It'll rank. Yeah. So I'll, be, before I leave, I'll take a picture of those. We'll type them up and, you know, share them with the chaplain program and the board and all that stuff. Okay, is everybody's dots up? We're, okay, so let's pray out. Let's pray out. You want to make a circle? How do you want to do that? Is it? Let's make a circle. Come on. Touch elbows, touch fists. And um, we have a lot of people who pray, so I'm, I'm sort of prayed up. It's an amoeba, yeah. Monica, do you want to pray us out? Uh, I'll let you. That's good. I'm okay. Good. Anybody else? Who? 
Susan left, our prayer chaplain. Oh, there, Gwen, do you, do you oh, pray? I, oh, no, you're I just touching. Touch touch. <laughs> who's who's going to pray? Lori can. Oh, Lori. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Are you... Are you <laughs> Yeah, uh, do I have to do everything, she says. <laughs> oh, so let's take a deep breath and know that we are one in this circle, that we have appreciated this process of learning and growing and visioning of what we want to uh, manifest for our community, the highest and best and perfect vision that we are open to receiving right now. We're so grateful for all of these people that showed up yes. and made their clear intention known. And we know that everything is such a bountiful, wonderful gift to share in this process. And we are so grateful and we Say yes and yes and almighty yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and so it is. And so it is. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Daniel. Everybody turn around and wave at Daniel. Thank you. Thank you, those people online. So grateful. They're probably all gone, but that's good. Thank you. Thank you all. Yes, absolutely. I can get your mic from you. There it is.